Hey everyone, this is going to be a recap of the live show and what I purchased at the flea market. So, um, this is going to be a live show, pretty regular, every Thursday. Um, you know, barring any, you know, if I forget something, one of my, you know, yeah, today I forgot my, um, uh, um, what do you call it, hotspot. So, I was able to get it going on my phone, and that seemed to work out okay. Should be about an hour and a half show. I'm going to run it. It goes off my GoPro, so... Um, Usually a battery lasts about an hour and a half of consistent shooting for the live show. So it'll be about an hour and a half every Thursday. Starts about between 8.30 and 9. I have to drop off kids at school. So it, and it, right around that time frame is when it starts. Um, hit the like button to like the video. Uh, like this video or my live video. <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. So that way you can get notified of when these lives drop. But like I said, they're going to be pretty consistently every Thursday, barring any, you know, unforeseen issues at this time. But let's go ahead and quickly just do a recap of what I purchased and um, what I think it'll go for. And some of this might be personal purchases as well, too. So let me flip the camera around here. Okay. Oops. Don't do that. All right. So um, some of the stuff you guys saw, some of it you didn't. Right here, I picked up this welding helmet. It is brand new in the box. That should sell for about $40. I got this um, with... What else did I get with this one? I got this one, and I got... Oh, this poster right here. It's it's a poster, but it's really uncut cards. Um, uh, indie racing cards. It's just a large poster. that it has the backing to the cards on the other side. And we're probably looking about $20 for that poster right there can't really find any sold comps on it um generally they're not worth too too much but i'm thinking about 20 bucks on that i can get that sold then oh the other thing i got was this little um this is like a little lapel it's uh old like civil war cannon and this actually goes into a uh, uh like one of your button uh holes there on your on your shirt and then this would uh, hook onto your shirt or your jacket or something. And that should sell for about $10. So a couple of good things. And we picked up that. Um, that actually got from Lupe at uh, $10 for the lot. So we're going to make some decent profit on that. We'll make our money, most of our money back on this. We can't forget fees. So but there are fees associated with selling items. And there will be some fees. But we'll make most of our money back on this. Okay, you guys saw the shoes. Um, these are Skechers Star Wars Edition. I don't know. I might... Well, you know what? I was just looking at... There's a stain right there. I was going to say, I could probably get away with selling them new on, on a new no box. But with that stain there, I'm just going to sell them as used. And they should sell for about $25 to $30. Um, oh, in my pocket here, along with those shoes, I got this Snap-on. Which, after doing some more research, apparently the Snap-on actual multi-tools don't really do too too good i mean they're not i thought it was gonna be like a 50 dollars multi-tool this right here but apparently no probably more in the range of about 20 to 30 dollars for that snap-on multi-tool but snap-on tools do sell really well and they do sell for a premium just i guess not the multi-tools i don't know don't know why, but it is a Snap-on, and Snap-on is a name to look out for. Leathermen are really good, and they always consistently sell uh, at a good profit margin. So if you can find them at a good price, definitely snap them up. Uh, okay, the first purchase I did was $15 for this little uh, Sony tape recorder. Oops, no, I'm not focusing the camera there. i got to make sure. I'm using just my, uh, my digital camera here. I'm not using my GoPro or anything, so i got to be aware of the, um, what it's capturing. This doesn't really capture a wide, come on, <laughs> doesn't capture a wide angle on this camera, so i got to be aware of that. Okay, I'm trying to do this one hand, too. So this one here, for parts, it should sell between 40 to $50, so paying 15 is okay. It might sit for a little while, because that's what happens when you sell items for parts or broken. They sit for a little while, and, um... So $15 isn't bad. I would have liked to have paid less. But that vendor I purchased from uh, typically is pretty expensive. So I don't usually buy anything from that vendor, usually. Um, I would have liked to have had the whole bag. Not the whole bag. I actually wanted some, uh, like, 40 bucks for the whole bag or something. And uh, there were some, like, little dictionary or organizer things in there that really aren't worth it. 
Um, okay, I picked this up. Uh, I picked this up along with this 24-hour fitness bag. Let me move these out of the way. Along with this 24-hour fitness bag, and really, this was really a nostalgia type of purchase because I had this way back in the day. Um, at the, I got this actually at the first 24-hour. They opened a 24-hour fitness by my house, and um, uh, when I signed up for it, it's like we're talking like 20 years ago. I got this bag, so. Really cool bag, just a little sling bag. I think I could probably get about forty dollars for it. It's in practically brand new condition. It has a um, like a toiletry pack in there, so I think I can get about forty dollars for it. I'm gonna sell it. I'm not gonna keep it. I thought for a moment I was gonna keep it, but now I'm gonna sell it. And you guys saw me pay ten dollars for these two items, this and this. So Trader Joe's. If you guys don't know, there are these tiny Trader Joe little canvas bags right now that are the hottest thing on eBay. Everyone's buying them up, paying an outrageous amount for them. They're small, they're mini. And so I'm gonna try to capture, hopefully capture that audience. This is not the one that is selling for a good money right now, but it has another little, re, uh, an actual larger reusable bag on the inside. So I'm gonna try to hopefully catch the hype a little bit and maybe sell that for $20, $25. I hope, I'm hoping, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that, but we'll see. Um, you guys saw me pick up these little things. And so, the, the flea market, as you guys saw in the live show, they are, you know, repaving everything. So I don't know where everybody's at. And usually I go off location, like, oh, I know who's there. I know who's there. But because everybody's moved around, I don't really know where all these people are at or who these people are or who I'm buying from until I ask. So that vendor, I typically don't really buy stuff from that vendor because he is priced up pretty high. I have purchased from him before. But typically, it's pretty high, so I don't do it all the time. Um, and these, I probably paid too much for these. I think I paid 10 bucks for all this. But really, I wanted the card just in case. I always like to pick these up if they're a decent deal and st store them away. Come in handy. Um, Chicago Bulls pin. This should be about $10. It's a vintage Chicago Bulls. Um, really cool. And then I couldn't find anything. This is a Grateful Dead or Jerry Garcia Bear. Um, I couldn't find anything on it. It's vintage. And I, I don't know. I might price it high and just see what I can get for it. I might price it at forty bucks, and just see if someone's willing to pay that or not. It is really cool, made in the USA, and Grateful Dead stuff does incredibly well. So we'll see about that. Did I say that should be about forty dollars, broken for parts? Um, and then I got these uh, Halloween stuff. Halloween sells year round, along with Christmas. So these little vintage, these came from, where did these come from? Kmart. Wow, look at that. 1993. And these should be about $20 a piece. Um, I got a bat. I got this zombie one. I got that, that, and this, this guy right here for $10. So that one appears to be naturally loose, but it looks like it had some, obviously some sticker or something that wore out. Um, so I'm thinking about $20, $25 for each of those. And they might wait until Halloween, but someone might buy them soon. Uh, who knows? Time is just flying right by. So <laughs> I, I still need to test them and just make sure they work. But um, there were no batteries in them, luckily, so nothing to explode. This guy right here, I couldn't find any comps on this one. This is also the same. It's Tread Masters. Trend Masters. So uh, still vintage. It looks like the eyes light up. I still got to pop batteries in them and see if they actually work. Uh, but the compartments look really clean. And um, this one as well, too. I'm looking about hopefully about 20, maybe between 20 to 30 dollars on this guy. So look out for these vintage ones. Um, I forget the name that's actually really, really good or the brand. I always forget the name, but I see it from time to time. Jemmy. Jemmy. If you see Jemmy ones, Jemmy ones usually do pretty well. Halloween, Christmas, all that. Um, oh, and then the last thing I picked up, really, really, the last thing I picked up were these two cats. They're bronze. And I was really hesitant because the guy wanted $25 for the pair. I picked them up for $20 for the pair. And they are bronze cats. I've looked these up, and the ones I could mm -hmm. find that actually sell... Oh, let me make sure I get the camera mm -hmm. right here. The ones that actually sell have a different base to them uh it has more of like a like a i think like a matching bronze kind of pillow looking base that goes with them these ones obviously do not have that they're wood so that was kind of throwing me off was the wood because these are definitely bronze and they're old 
older vintage. I don't know how old exactly. There's no date on it, but look at the bottom there. And I was going back and forth. I actually walked away initially from the deal. He wanted 25. I walked away and I came back around and offered him 20. And he, he said, fine, that, that, that's fine. And I went ahead and took them. And let me just show you. Because what was concerning to me, are they replicas or what? Or, you know, the wood, the wood base really was, was um, tripping me up on that. Uh, but let me show you here some of the last sold comps on this really quick. Let me just get it up on my phone. Okay. All right. So, okay. So here's my phone right here. And here's the last sold comp of something very similar. The tails are a little bit different. And, um, and but as you can tell, the bottom kind of has like a, like a bronze pillow kind of thing there. And here's another one down here that was 110. And so it's definitely not the same one. And I couldn't find any with wood bases. Here's another one here. Um, accepted an offer, 161. This one here, about $99. So um there's look at look at this one right here. 325. Someone paid 325. And they didn't even take an offer on that. They straight up pay three twenty five. Um, so interesting, interesting. I will go ahead and probably. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm thinking. Let me know down in the comments. What would you guys price those at? Based on those comps, similar style, um, but with a wood base. Um, maybe the wood base makes it better. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I think more bronze would make it better. Uh, I might price them at two fifty and just see what happens. Open up offers, and the first person offers me a hundred bucks, boom, I'm gone. I <laughs> take it because I have twenty dollars into them. So they're still nice pieces. Bronze pieces do incredibly well. If you find any bronze, bronze is something definitely to look out for. Uh, otherwise, oh, I purchased this basketball baseball thing. That, that's a personal purchase. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a gift here. So, um, but I think that's everything. Yeah, I got the snap-on tool, I got that. So not too, too much. And I wasn't expecting to buy too, too much today just because, um, uh, just because, why? Because I'm shooting the video and I want to go slowly. I want to show you guys everything and hope you guys enjoyed the live show and you guys like the flea market. Uh, I'll be back at the flea market tomorrow just doing a regular video. So we'll be moving through things pretty quickly. It should be dollar days the on Friday. Um, otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Should I continue the live show at the flea market? Did you guys like the flea market? Do you want to see a you know, different day? Uh, well, my video release schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I want to do this on an off day. But And hopefully I can keep up with these little uh, post uh, live show, what I actually purchased at the flea market after even after the video died. Otherwise, hit the thumbs up to like the video, uh, subscribe, and hit the bell notification because you'll get notified of when I drop these lives. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. And let's get, you know, the next video about tomorrow. <laughs>